Armed forces of Ukraine already have fire control over Bakhmut Holivka Highway. The armed forces of Ukraine continue to push back the enemy in the Bakhmut direction. They already have fire control over the Bakhmut Holivka Highway, complicating logistics for the Russian army greatly. Intense fighting continues in the area of the eastern group of troops. I can say that the struggle is dynamic, but the types of operations are different. While we are defending ourselves and trying to hold back the enemy's onslaught in Kupiansk Lyman direction, we have success and continue to push them back in the Bakhmut direction, Ilya Yevlash, head of the press service of the eastern group of the armed forces of Ukraine, said. We continue the offensive operation on the southern flank of Bakhmut. We have success near Andreevka, Odradivka, Kurdyumivka, Yevlash noted. The greatest concentration of enemy forces is currently observed in Lyman Kupiansk direction, more than 110,000 personnel. Also, the enemy keeps a large number of armored vehicles, artillery systems, and multiple launch rocket systems there. However, we have not recorded any combat engagements in this direction for about a week. But this does not mean that there are no military operations. The enemy continues to shell the positions of the armed forces, Yevlash said. According to Yevlash, the enemy is not giving up its goal to completely capture Luhansk and Donetsk regions. The enemy is intensively trying to regain the lost positions in the liberated Andreevka and Klishyivka because they are very important from a tactical point of view. It is seven kilometers from Klishyivka to Bakhmut. Exposing this flank gives us an opportunity to strike more at the concentration of personnel, the enemy's command posts and equipment. The access to Andreevka and Klishyivka gives us the opportunity to get closer to the Bakhmut Holivka Highway, which is already under our fire control. Mortars and anti tank guns already reach this area. Therefore, the enemy's logistics in this direction has already become much more difficult and will get complicated further, Yevlash said. He emphasized that the armed forces of Ukraine continue to move forward with much smaller forces compared to the enemy. Although the enemy has air supremacy, they suffer seven to eight times more losses while defending than we do while going on the offensive, the spokesman said. As reported, the liberation of Klishyivka in Donetsk region created a bridgehead for the armed forces of Ukraine, which will allow for the development of further offensive actions.